that ugly stank bitch. Okay, hi guys. I am back again with the wilds. I cannot wait to watch this episode. I've been like waiting every single week for Friday when I film the wilds. I have that like, like I went through like Monday and Wednesday when I also film and then I'm like looking at my schedule. I'm like, damn it, the wilds is not today. And then Wednesday, damn it, the wilds is not so Friday. Friday here, I'm watching it. I'm fucking hyped. This is like, this is such a good show. And I can't believe that it took me this long to watch it. I'm pissed off that I was not part of the people that discovered it before it was canceled. But I'm, jo I'm enjoying every second of it. And I cannot believe, I can't rationalize in my head. Even if the second season is not as good as this one, which I'm only on episode three and I love it. Even if it's not as good, I don't understand. I don't understand. But I want to get into it, guys. Um, just a reminder that if you want to see the uncut reactions to the wilds, the link at the top of my description will take you to my Patreon. And there, under the $5 pledge, you can get all of the uncut reactions to, like, to, not like, to the wilds that I've watched so far, um, as well as every single other show that I watch on YouTube. All uncut, unedited, the full episode. So if you're interested in that, definitely check it out. Otherwise, let's get into the episode, guys. She looks like she's in a bunker. Oh my god, the ice cream relatable so i'm assuming that this is her backstory i need to make a cheat sheet of all their names so i can like learn them because there's so many this is what bunker is she in what the hell or is this during the like interrogation scenes yeah <laughs> oh my god oh, shit it's so interesting that this is like them it seems like after they've been rescued so like in the second season does that take place after these interviews or still before it you know Bitch, we would if we could. I can't believe her. That's so scary. <laughs> you don't get struck by lightning, bitch. Damn, okay. I would eat everything in sight. Depending on like how long they were on the island, I feel like that would make you sick when you're finally getting like that greasy food and stuff. And also because your stomach shrinks, it's not used to eating as much. So you'd get like sick because you eat, try to eat as you normally did. But I do feel compelled to remind you to chew. <laughs> How dare you tell that to a girl that's been stranded on a deserted island. There's rescue coming, so for those reasons, I'm out. Just because you You're shot stupid. me down shark tank style doesn't make me any less annoyed. Nora's a good swimmer. You're hey, both water babies. Hey, where are y'all going? Aww. That's cool that she had her come. Real quick, what do you guys think about building a shelter? That is so stupid of them. Wouldn't you want a shelter for when it rains again? Did I bother you for a pledge? You kidding? I was fucking impressed. I can't figure out if the people that are interviewing them are like the FBI or CIA cops or something, or if they're part of the whole thing, this whole what experiment or whatever it is. I really hope they don't use our yearbook photos because mine have not been flattering. Right. I always think about that. Like if I die or get kidnapped. And I just think it's a shame that we don't know each other better. Being from the same town and all. Oh. We haven't really crossed paths since eighth grade Spanish, have we? Did they mention that before? I don't remember them mentioning them knowing each other. I was wondering what she meant about the yearbook thing. Cause I was like, wait, what? As far as I'm concerned, you can go on thinking I'm the not pictured girl and I can go on thinking about you. Not at all. You think enough about <laughs> me to talk trash about my boyfriend to a bunch of total strangers. There it is. Okay, Shelby. Yeah, you got me. I sell drugs. <laughs> you know, I would have thought And what you about did, it? Given that your boyfriend is one of my best customers. Oof. You know, in her head, she's like, wait a second. Is he? Being alone means being invisible. Oh my God. Which has its advantages. Because people don't notice you doing shady shit. Oh my God. Have fun, gets. Is that Shelby's boyfriend? Deep down oh. Comes you out. Was that the Think same guy? Anything to fit in. It kind of looked like the same guy. The truth is, I just didn't have time for that shit. Oh, she's taking care of her dad. I bet you five or she wins the whole thing. Yeah, this right. is where she learned new things. Take action. Easy money. That's so sad. He does not know salt from sugar from his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. 
It's like behind her whole tough persona. She's trying to take care of a really sick dad. That's really sad. Well, actually, he threw up in the bed and I had to strip it. And I'm moving to the chair in the meantime. Aww. Sorry. Oh, is he like an at-home nurse while well, she's at school? So I know the oxycodone is going pretty fast. Oh, shit. That's what she's selling. What already in. Yeah, well, he seems to have adjusted. It's risky. It's almost six, so... Time for you to clock the fuck out. I wouldn't mess with that guy. He knows what you're doing. Kind of the last person you should be rude to. I can see a lot deeper than oh, I shit. thought. For some reason, I was thinking it was still like in a shallow enough area that it was sticking out or that you could like see it. Not that it was fully underwater. Damn. I pulled you in. You did? I mean, we weren't that far out, but yeah. I want to know what happened to her arm. Oh. Here comes the complainer. Honestly, that would be me though. I would be complaining the whole damn time. I could be bleeding, right? Like guts spilling out into the streets. But if Shelby came along with a smile and some fucking muffins, then Martha would just walk right by me. Oh my god! Dude, Dramatic. This is why I don't get tight with girls. <laughs> I get that she feels like replaced. I think Shelby actually cares, <laughs> honestly. Are you an Aries? What? Who the fuck cares? God. Jeez. I want to know her backstory because what the f? You missed something. A you cave. Freaking lecturing me. Well, it it's funny inside. that like she yeah, ends up getting it. with Tony. I'll take a look. And it seems like sure. she like had a whole ass boyfriend at home. Like like when is the point where you're just like okay, I'm gonna move on because. I'm stuck here, <laughs> you know? Or because I fell for somebody else. Like, where is that point where you just like call it quits? Someone's got a hold of me. Someone's got a hold of me. Help, help, help. She's sleeping with her. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You gotta have a laugh. Uh, you see me there. fucking laughing? She's traumatized. <laughs> oh shit, the bee thing. <laughs> oh my God, someone blew in my mouth. It's called fucking karma. Is she allergic to bees? Oh. <laughs> it seemed like she's allergic to bees. Or she was just choking on the bee. But it seemed like she was allergic. She was just trying to lighten the mood. But I don't think she realized she's going to be traumatized by death. Oh, that's over. We did it. Hard part's over. I care. I care that you have to do this for me. I want you to get out, please. If I go, then how are you? I don't fucking know. Just get out. Does he kill himself? Aww. All these backstories are really sad. But without her dad, like if he passed away, who is the one that put her in this program? Oh, I bet you she's gonna run into Shelby and she's gonna have to save her or help her or something. And maybe that's gonna be like what helps bring them close together. That looks actually really good. <laughs> that's an arm. Oh, it's a mannequin, what the f Why would there be a mannequin? My number one question is, how did that even get there? Hell. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh. I'm honestly surprised that more people aren't like having panic attacks. Cause they're young girls and they're stranded there, you know? My friend Mateo's got a little thing for you. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> He's here on Christmas Eve. You brought mint Milanos. Uh, You're the only person in the world that eats those things. I eat those things. Thank you. Ready for a little Christmas? I feel like he's gonna die on Christmas, Loki. That's a different time, huh? That's when I used to do shit for you. You took care of her her whole life. This is her turn to take care of you. She's only returning the favor when you're sick. It's so sad that like, that's so true that parents have taken care of them their whole life. But one day it's gonna be the reverse. I'll sign you up for this. It's retreat, it's all girls. Aww. It's in Hawaii. There's snorkeling, there's, there's swimming, the works. I got Mateo here. I hope he... I'm not leaving you. No, I need this. Yeah, I hope, he, like this sounds bad, but I hope he dies before she goes. Cause could you imagine they get in that plane crash and he's still alive and she can't be with him? Like, cause she's stranded? That would be so messed up. I 
I'd be scared about what's going to happen to him. She should talk to him. I feel like he would be a good person to talk to about it because he's there too, you know? Fuck. It's only going to get worse, Don. Thanks for the pep talk. You know, Merry Christmas to you too. Mm. No, I just mean... You can't take this on all on your own. Right. Where someone lives so hard for someone else. That they forget to live. Themselves. Yep, yep. I mean, I haven't even <laughs> really started. Don't you want to? Oh, Kiss her. Oh, yay. It's also really sad that, like, this is clearly close to when she leaves. Like, this the winter and she leaves in the summer. And it sucks that she's probably barely lived her life before she was in this plane crash that's so sad she never even got to live for herself but i get it i mean i would do anything for my parents i can't you kissed him i can't yeah you can Toby! oh shit Toby! yeah she's having an allergic reaction i bet you anything <gasps> oh no it's not an allergic reaction don't move do move run the other way no, that. Literally, that. Uh-uh. Shelby needs to run. Like, smack it while she runs. Run, bitch. They're gonna eat some snake tonight. Die! Not to die! Oh. That's it. That's the tail. Fucking it. And it's so deep. How do we even get down there? You two man the raft. Girl. Uh, that would be scary. Like to waste time. Especially like, going down in there and getting inside of the plane. I would be afraid I would get like trapped and not be able to get out to go breathe. Because what exactly do they think they're going to find that they haven't had already? The black box won't help them. It looked like the whole kitchen, maybe some like technical supplies and stuff. I don't know. But I need one of you guys. More eyes, They had more cans, hands. didn't I, they? I can go. If you were the athlete in the family, what the hell would that make me? <laughs> I like that she's being sweeter to her now. I think she just needed that episode to scream it out, you know? Isn't there some, like, sodas right there in that thing? Yes. <laughs> Fun fact, I think Diet Coke floats to the top and regular Coke floats to the bottom. The black box! The fucking black box! Boom. That's something, right? That's important. I mean, yeah. It's yeah. gonna stop working at That's some point. Out. And also, also underwater. The they would have found them though if it worked. I don't know what they're gonna do with that. Also, how come they're not concerned about looking for water? All they have is like sodas, which is fine, I guess. It'll hydrate them, but they're gonna need water. Here he just wrote Shetland ponies forever. What does it mean? She's not Obviously, even reading it. She's just joke. looking for the yeah, little comments in there. Couples in their inside jokes. <laughs> do you want some solid relationship advice? Uh huh. Okay, there's only three things that you don't date. Remember. No, okay. Skip the handy. Dry humping is underrated. Oh my god. You just stop paying attention to them and then they just like appear out of nowhere. <laughs> there he is. So this guy washed up. Is he good for anything? Is that foreshadowing with the broken arm with the missing arm from her losing her arm? Something crazy is gonna happen, I feel like. There's no way. I just don't know what this is gonna do. Calm down! Not everyone's a great swimmer. My lungs are so messed up that I cannot even hold my breath very long. <gasps> what the f is she doing? What is she fing doing? Are you stupid? She can't fing breathe, bro. Like, you're not gonna be able to stop it and make her do that. That's so dangerous. I thought she was gonna have allergic reactions. It seemed like that. Do not tell anyone about me grave even andrew doesn't know her boyfriend no offense but you should probably lighten up about it In my mind it feels like it, it feels like this super thin wall holding back all of this it's holding back the gayness i want to see her her like backstory isn't that just the purest thing you ever saw what he say? You're so random. And then tried to stick his hand on my shirt. Ew, fuck that guy. Not literally, but like figuratively, fuck that guy. I haven't had a whole lot of time 
for sunset soon. Shit. Your dad. Is he? It kind of seems like. <laughs> Let yourself be emotional. You come over to make your big move. Figure I'm sad. Vulnerable. I wasn't trying to. Okay. <laughs> She's a hoot, man. They're gonna do it on the couch, huh? Your dad gave this to me a few weeks ago. It's my dick in a box. Is that the Thanks logo the of the plane place? Of like the people that are watching them? That's a big ass cave. <laughs> Aw. It's so cute watching them bond. All's <laughs> about his gram channel. That's so cute. Sprays aqua de geo on his balls. And he will just dressing him for fun. Mm, Marcus here will break your fucking heart. Well, now he looks more gay. Honestly, I feel the chemistry. Yeah? Oh my god. Get it. Imagine this, like, Umbrella Academy where Five's girlfriend is, like, a whole-ass mannequin. I cannot take another night with wet sand in my crack. Who is this? <laughs> That's Marcus. Tony found him. I think that drawing's a little high there. I wanted to see what she ended up doing. That was so messed up that she grabbed her foot like that. Because once you're running out of air, there's literally nothing that you can do. You should know that the decision was far from unanimous. So many of us in the faculty are still rooting for you. Thank what? You. Truly. He's very kind. She leaves. That ugly stank bitch. I can't wait for these timid-minded fucks to see what old measures can do. I wonder if that lady was someone's mom. But if we were to get inside, you might find the actual recording, like, like the actual tape of what happened to us up there. Don't we kind of already know what happened? What's going to do? Oh, I got this thing. Somebody tell me, like, the full account. Because no one actually remembers what happened. Also, I feel like if it worked properly, obviously, I mean, obviously it's not supposed to be working because this is, like, some type of weird experiment, experiment with the kids. But I feel like in, for as far as they know, that was real, you know? So I feel like if it would have gotten to air traffic control and whatever, it would have like worked, you know? And if it hasn't by now, it doesn't work. So might as well open it. Part of me feels like it's telling us I don't know if that made sense. Like, but basically what I mean is I it clearly doesn't work since it didn't alert anybody uh, to them in their perspective. Either way, it wouldn't work, so you might as well open it. Yeah, she almost fucking killed me up there. Like, yeah, what the f psychopath. Hey, but if they haven't found Thank it you. yet, can't we assume that this bacon thing is busted? Yes, exactly. Thank you. What part of that is unclear? She's such a bitch. A completely functional beacon? Like, at least with Tony, we know what we're getting. She's just, like, too much. Put it to a vote. This is stupid. How did you resolve it? That was the first time we voted. Exactly. Well, they should have voted. Raise your hands. Listen, Shelby and I are on the same wavelength. Do you think that means it's working? I mean, I don't know, but... We have to assume, yes. So it's on? Now they're gonna find us? Yeah, boy! Fuck to the yes! The recording from the flight. What does it record? Audio? Whoa. Could you imagine? Stop it. Oh my god. That makes me want to cry. Why would they play that <laughs> to them? It's traumatic enough. For a life. Because I feel like all of them are kind of pushing down that trauma because you're in survival mode. If someone gets a divorce from this piece, we should 100% throw ourselves in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> They're cute. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Started reading some of your man's book. <gasps> it's kind of pervy, no? I mean, in the cradle Girl, writing sense, like between read her vibe. You and the book, I get the sense this guy likes recent vintage. <laughs> Figured you already thought about it. She is kind of brainwashed in like Stockholm Syndrome. She doesn't see it as wrong, even though it most definitely is. I didn't realize how far they had to go. This is the end of the tour, doll. No. Revenge, murder, my tissue. It's big white clouds. It's wild though, that people can go from this talking and being coherent to all of a sudden dead. Get on my dead. Bike, but I'm gonna need your help. He's gonna do an assisted suicide? Oh my God. I'm not. I'm not doing that. Oh my god. That's kind of messed up that he's making her do it though. Could you imagine the, the guilt and just terror you would have your whole life if you killed your dad? 
this has to be oh the God. end. God. Please. Do it yourself. Why would you make her do that? No way. No. That is so not okay to ask your daughter to do that. She's going to be traumatized for the rest of her life. This is f***ed up. Dorothy Jane Kim. I didn't realize her name was actually Dorothy. I have loved being your daddy. Oh. Okay. One day that big, beautiful world out there is gonna come call. I have to answer. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that's so sad. What's the catch? It's gonna be that bitch, I, t I guarantee you. What makes you think there's yep. a price tag? The price tag is, you're gonna nothing in this world is free. crash them. Maybe this is the universe finally giving back to someone who's given so much. That's a real fun story. If only. But that's not how the world works. What do you want from me? I want you in this totally free program. Why would she like go to someone who's about to lose their dad? Maybe because she thinks it's easier to get those type of people that are having that issue because they have no one. Man. Whew. Okay. I had to gather myself a little bit. That was very emotional. But yeah, there we go. That was The Wild Season 1, Episode 3. And this, this was, wow. Um, this show is so good. Every single episode is better than the last and they just keep going and going and going. Oh man, this episode follows Dot, and Dot, Dot's personal life was, which I didn't know, I, maybe they mentioned it before, but I don't remember, I didn't know that Shelby and her knew each other and lived in the same um, town and went to the same school, but um, we see her life, she's dealing drugs during the day, which it seems like that's where she's trying to make money for her dad, which then we also find out, find out that her dad is super, super sick, he's with the hospice and, and dying. And she's been taking care of him every day and all day besides when she's at school. And I can't, I just like, I can't imagine that life and how Mateo had told her that she needs to have a life too, you know? And that ending part where she helps him commit suicide, I, that like shattered my heart. I could not imagine, I, for one, I'm very sad that that he had her do that because now she's going to carry that memory on for the rest of her life that she technically killed him. I don't understand like it's, he, she was just putting it straight into his IV thing so why couldn't he have drawn up the medicine and done it himself? Maybe he just didn't couldn't do it you know like physically could not. In their conversation too as he's like waiting for it to kick in just broke my heart and I feel like with each episode when we learn more about the characters, we are understanding, first of all, why they're there, and second, well, why they were supposed to be there, and second, we're finding out the reasons why they act the way that they act, and the reasons why they are the way that they are. Dot did see Shelby's teeth come out, so she, someone knows. Um, she, like, swallowed a bee, and I was, for a second, when she ran, I thought that she had gotten stung and was allergic, but it was kind of interesting that they made that storyline and then nothing came of it. But maybe it was just so that she could get frustrated and leave because of Dot? I don't know. But then she leaves and then gets cornered up against a tree by a snake. I think it was a rattlesnake. I don't know. I don't know my snakes. But it was freaky. And then Dot had to come help her and she killed it and was slamming it against the rock over and over and over and over. And it seemed like that was her, this like pent up anxiety and anger and resentment and sadness all coming out at once. And thankfully she took it out on the snake and not someone else. The scenes was Nora, Rachel, and Leah going into the water to go find the wreckage to see what they can get out was really cool until Leah started having trouble breathing because she's not trained her lungs like, like Rachel has. Like she has trained lungs and can hold her breath for a really long time. Normal people cannot do that. And she kept having to go back up and down, up and down. And clearly she's not gonna she's not gonna do that on purpose. She doesn't wanna keep having to swim upside down 
or up and down, but she has to because she can't keep her breath that long. And when she grabbed her leg, I, I felt like I couldn't breathe. That was so fucking dangerous and scary. I cannot believe, I can't believe that she did that. And I'm glad that she called her out and was even like, she's a psychopath, she tried to kill me. Because that is so fucking selfish and disgustingly fucked up. Like, I can't even put into words how bad that is. Like, she would have killed her. She could have killed her. And no matter what happened in her past, like, that's not okay. She needs to get her anger and her, all this stuff that's pent up in her out in another way. Because that, that was not okay. That was scary. And then there was Fatten and Martha that were reading Leah's book from her adult boyfriend that she had when she was, what, 15, 16, something like that. And reading all, like, the little notes and stuff. And I'm kind of glad. I know she got pissed off and it was kind of, like, invading privacy. And she was like, I didn't even read them. I just, like, quickly glanced. Like, bitch, you fucking read them, read them to the crowd. I'm glad that she actually called her out on it. Like, you don't think this is weird? You don't think that this is creepy? That the, they, that he was writing this in a, a book when he's a grown-ass adult? I do really hope that while they're on this time on the island that Leah figures out her shit and then realizes, like, that, yeah, that was not okay. That was definitely not okay. But this episode, ma mainly focused on Dot, just had me just heartbroken for her. And, um... I knew that the person she was going to meet up with was this bitch. And the fact that, like, she preyed on her knowing that she was, like, in this vulnerable state and doesn't have anyone. And she preyed on her for that. Like, oh, we can we can give you this. You're, you're going to meet people in this. And it's so great. It's all that shit. And then crashes the plane. They also found the black box, which surprisingly made a noise when they tried to fix it. But... So, like, let's say they don't, I know I said this in the episode, but, like, let's say they don't know that this is a simulation, because they don't, right? So, in their eyes, it should, should be, like, if that worked, they would have, it would have sent coordinates, and they would be here already. But instead, they're, like, thinking, I don't know, I, I don't understand why, why Rachel was so against opening it. Like, I get it says don't open but clearly the thing doesn't work. So you might as well open it and try to get it to work, you know, instead of just having it sit there not working because they would have heard it by now. And then they pull out to find the recorder and listen to the crash on this on the recording of the audio, which like, that made me feel like I was going to throw up. And everybody's reaction to it was like devastating because I feel like they haven't been able to mourn. They haven't been able to think about what they actually went through because everything's been so, like, survival mode that they really haven't had time to let it sink in that they're on this island alone and they got in a plane crash. It's just fucking crazy to me. But yeah, this is a wonderful episode and I cannot wait to see what ends up. Oh, oh, and then we find out that Shelby has a boyfriend back home and Dot had actually been, like, his dealer, caught him with another girl, knows that he's with another girl, and I also just love how... Shelby was like unbothered about it. She's just like, okay, because she doesn't give. F she's she's probably a lesbian, right, or bi, but she gives me lesbian vibes because it doesn't seem like she's interested in him at all. But yeah, this was a really really good episode. Um, again, I'm so excited to see who the next episode is about because I feel like they just get better and better. And from episode one, I feel like I rated it a ten, two a ten, three has to be a ten. Because the 10 is the highest, but it's it still is just like getting better and better and better. I love it. And I'm so happy that so many people recommend this to me. I know that it's been a long time since it first started airing, um, but I was sick and having issues and stuff. So I'm really, really into this though now. And yeah, can't wait for this next ep. I would, write, I would watch it right the second if my company was not about to show up. But yeah, wonderful episode. I think that is pretty much it. I'll see you guys in episode four. Thanks for watching.